15 things you didn't know about Vivian Westwood. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers, and welcome to another exciting original video presented by Alux.com. Today we're revealing some unknown facts about one of the most stylish and outlandish women of the fashion world, Vivian Westwood. Born 1941 in England, Vivian Westwood is a fashion designer and businesswoman. She's known for being an impresario and her punk style. She began with four different stores in London and continued to open stores within the country and then internationally. She's creative and influential and sold diverse clothes and accessories. She now connects her fashion line to several environmental and political charities, including climate change, civil rights, and nuclear war. We sure can say she's a very special fashion designer with a cause. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. We are inspired by her elegance, charm, vivaciousness, style, and political action. So let's take some time now to look closer at this leader in the fashion world with the 15 things you didn't know about Vivian Westwood. Number 1. She wore no underwear in front of the Queen. In 1992, she was given an Order of the British Empire due to her contribution to fashion. She went to the ceremony and collected her award from the Queen, wearing sheer tights and a dress without wearing any underwear, and gave a twirl to the crowd, leaving nothing to the imagination. In 2006, she did this again when the Prince of Wales gave her another title. When she was asked about it, she retorted, Don't ask. This is the similar response. I don't wear them with gears. When I'm clothing trousers, I might have my hubby's silk boxers. Number 2. She designed the Sex and the City wedding dress. In 2008, the infamous HBO series Sex and the City came out with a film wherein the protagonist and fashionista Carrie Bradshaw, played by Sarah Jessica Parker, married her true love, Big. The character was known for her love of vogue, luxury, and fashion, particularly her Manolo Blahniks. Well, it was none other than Vivian Westwood who designed her wedding dress in the film, which reportedly sold over 1,000 duplicates. There was also a shortened version of the dress, which sold for $9,875 on a website and is now only available through Vivian Westwood herself. Number 3. She Supported Chinese Environmental Exhibition there is one large mall in China named K11 that has been featured in luxury and art crossovers. Recently, it had an exhibition with a luxury fashion brand entitled Get a Life, which was backed by, you guessed it, Vivian Westwood. The work demonstrates the ways in which climate change is changing the world. Climate change and pollution are becoming increasingly more prominent subjects of various Chinese luxury brands. Although climate change can be controversial for some companies, particularly in China, Adrian Cheng decided that the exhibition with Vivian Westwood would be helpful to increase environmental awareness. Number 4. Her son set fire to 5 million pounds worth of punk relics. Her son is Joseph Ferdinand Corre and was born by her first husband, manager of the Sex Pistols, Malcolm McLaren. He is, like his mother, an activist, and helped found the company Agent Provocateur. At one point, Corre was protesting in London and burned a fortune's worth of punk items. He explained that punk was not about sales, marketing, and nostalgia. It was about destruction, and that punk had become synonymous with conformity. He later opened a clothing shop entitled A Child of the Jago in Shoreditch, which is still popular for the savvy punks of East London and beyond. Number 5. Her net worth is $185 million. In 2018, Westwood was named the highest paid fashion designer with $58 million in combined earnings between March 2017 and March 2018, which was almost $30 million more than the second runner-up. Much of her earnings came from smart stock investments, her endorsement deal with CoverGirl Cosmetics, the fat Westworld burger chain in London, her football team called the Derbyshire Angels, her top-selling perfume, and her fashion line. Her total net worth is $185 million. Number 6. She Created the Mini Crinny in 1985, Westwood created what she called the Mini Crinny, which combined the old and the new. It involves a mini skirt and Victorian style skirt, making the old sexy, what Vivian is best at. The unique skirt had a bell shape and, though Victorian, had a childlike quality. 
in the 1980s. She also had a collection entitled Voyage to Cythera. The collection was unique and beautiful, and involved tights without pants. Westwood also began a style in the 1980s with jackets made of Harris tweed, a cloth handwoven by islanders in Scotland. Number 7. She went to Goldsmiths University, just like Damien Hirst. Vivian Westwood is well known for having attended Goldsmiths, where she was involved with their textile collection. Others who were famous for their work in textiles that went to the university included Mary Quaint and Margaret Howell. They were also inspired by, and helped to inspire another artist at Goldsmiths named Damien Hirst, who not only creates, but collects expensive art. He is famous for decorating a skull with diamonds, and is one of the wealthiest artists in the world. Number 8. She had a voodoo fashion collection with her ex. Vivian Westwood and her ex-husband, Sex Pistols manager McLaren, had a project in the mid-1980s called Witches. The collection had Haitian voodoo influences and was inspired by American graffiti artwork. The line also had large sloppy clothes and were made to be worn by both genders, again reinforcing Westwood's feminist ideals through sophisticated styles. The couple also worked on a luxurious collection called Buffalo Girls, which was followed by one called Punkature. This one glamorized the look of those on the outskirts of American society. It made the outsiders cool and chic. Number 9. She was accused of fashion plagiarism. It wasn't until 2016 that the artist named Roberta Morero discovered that Vivian Westwood used one of her works, which involved a photo of bright colored shapes and swiggles around a man with a mustache, for one of her t-shirts. Since apparently Westwood did not ask for the artist's permission, she went to lawyers. However, the dispute was settled swiftly, and Westwood was still able to use the designs. Number 10. She bought a home that belonged to Captain Cook's mother for $1 million. Captain Cook was a famous British explorer, and his mother lived in what is now known as the historic Clapham House. Westwood bought this home in 2000 for $1 million, but there was some controversy when it became public that she was given $25,000 out of the country's Heritage Lottery Fund to restore iron railings and cracks in the brickwork in the home. Westwood's response was that she didn't buy the home for profit, but to save it for the nation. And this is actually the only home Westwood has ever owned. The 30 years prior to buying this house, she lived in a London apartment. We talk more about this famous city in our video, 15 Things You Didn't Know About London. Click in the upper right hand corner to check it out. Number 11. She had a humble start. She was, interestingly, born in a small town in the north of England. Her mother worked in a cotton mill and her dad mended shoes. Later, she went to the Glossop Grammar School, and in the late 1950s, her family moved to London. There, she went to the Harrow School of Art at Westminster University, and she was able to study fashion and silversmithing before leaving school. Number 12. She's married to her student. Well, former student, that is. Long after her divorce in 1965, Vivian Westwood married her student, Austrian Andreas Krontaler, in 1992. There is a large age difference between them as he was only 25 years old when they met. Krontaler is an Austrian and a designer, and the two appear to have a very happy relationship. They live in southeast London in a Queen Anne-style house built in 1703. Number 13. She was married to Derek Westwood for only three years. In 1962, she met Derek Westwood, who was a Hoover factory apprentice at the time. The couple began dating and were married just a few short months later in July of 1962, and Vivian made her own wedding dress. However, the marriage did not last long, because Vivian met her second husband in 1965, which led to their divorce. However, they had a son together in 1963, and he influenced her work greatly. Number 14. She created the time machine collection. In 1988 to 89, she came out with the Time Machine collection which featured a waistcoat with detachable torn sleeves and bloomers. This collection was foreground of the idea of Britishness and punk. It was inspired by the traditions, wealth, and activities of the upper class, such as hunting. One piece from this collection is on display at the v and Museum in London, which is the world's leading museum of art and design. Number 15. She designed Miss Piggy's Wedding Dress In 2014, Vivian Westwood created Miss Piggy's Wedding Dress for the movie Muppets Most Wanted. 
Miss Piggy married Kermit at the Tower of London, and the puppet actually wore a beautiful wedding dress that was the commissioned work of Vivian Westwood. The long ivory court couture wedding gown featured a corset and elegant palettes made from recycled bottles. The gown was completed with an ivory tulle veil. Now that you've learned some more about Vivian Westwood, we'd like to know, do you appreciate her controversial approach to fashion? What's your favorite collection? Let us know in the comments below. Still here? Of course you are. Here is your bonus fact. Number 16. She dressed up as Margaret Thatcher for an iconic magazine cover. In 1989, Vivian appeared on the cover of British magazine Tatler, dressed as Margaret Thatcher, who was Prime Minister of the United Kingdom at the time. The title that accompanied the cover was This Woman Was Once a Punk. This was included in The Guardian's list of best ever UK magazine covers. The dress she wore had been ordered for Thatcher, but had not yet been delivered. Thank you for spending some time with us, a -luxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an a and we'll see you back tomorrow.